Good morning, everybody. Hello. Well, thank you for seeing me through that small little techni uh, technical glitch there. Uh, the software program that I normally use to go live suddenly had some kind of internal error and wouldn't start the live broadcast. So here we are. So what I'm going to do really quickly is I'm going to share this um, with friends so that they know I'm here. And if you're live, please pop in and say good morning because I'd love to see you here. But hope you're having a good morning so far. So um, I'm going to go on here just really quickly and share this so people know that I am live. But how are you doing? How was your week? What an interesting um, week we've had. <sighs> and yesterday was quite the show, wasn't it? We haven't had anything grip viewers like that probably since 9-11 where the whole world was just focused. But here's something fun. Featured mug of the day, yes. My sweet husband, mm, he made sure that I had a writer's cup, cup for my broadcast this morning. So shout out to my sweet Michael, I love you. Thank you for my new cup. And this morning USA is up three to one. Three to one, because they're, they're playing over in France. And if you follow sports at all, I have been learning sports and I've been following golf. My husband's been uh, having me do picks for golf tournaments. So are you following golf at all? Here's something really interesting. How about Tiger Woods? How about Tiger Woods and his comeback? You know, I, you know that I'm not a big sportsing girl. However, I am learning. And... Um, to, I knew who Tiger Woods was. Everybody knew who Tiger Woods was. Who would have thought that Tiger Woods would come back and win, right? Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for popping in here. And if you do me a favor, share this out. Um, because we had a technical glitch, uh, I was not able to. I'm going to share this on my personal page really quickly um, and let folks know. All right. So that way folks will know that we're here. But good morning, good morning, everybody. Good to see you here. Thanks for being here. So I'm live for you on this Happy Aloha Friday to tell you about a new series that I am going to be debuting one week from today, next Friday, October 5th. It's going to be great. Good morning, Melissa. And we, I'm so glad to see you here, my dear. So glad you are safe. Um, welcome. It's great to have you all here. So today's cup, the Writer's Cup. And we were talking about Tiger Woods. And I don't know if you guys saw it, but the if you watched the video recaps of the PGA Tour that was played, um, my husband called me into the room to have me watch it. And I'm glad I did because it was amazing to see the sea of people that were following him, all of them with their phones up because they wanted to capture that moment. Seeing someone like Tiger Woods, who would have expected that Tiger could come up from the ashes of everything that he went through, so publicly humiliated and, and physically debilitated to where he lost his game? Who would have thought that Tiger Woods would come back and not only win the PGA, but now he's part of the U.S. team Boy, don't you know that did some great things for the team. I was really impressed with when Tiger won. Rory McIlroy was like, hey, I'm over here. I'm just going to shoot my ball in the hole and we'll be done here in a second. Um, but he was glad to see Tiger win. And I was really touched by the video following him to the tent where all the other players were there to welcome him back. You know you've really made it when your friends are there to see you on the other side and give you a hug, right? Expectations. Who would have thought the Tiger would come back and not only infuse the team with such uh, hope and anticipation going into this tournament? So they are up three to one. Um, excited to kind of catch up with that and see. So today's featured mug is from the Ryder Cup. So go USA. We love Europe. But go USA. So expectations, guys. That's what we're going to be talking about in this new series. Expectations versus reality. 
and I, I had a little fun with it here over the last few weeks of just posting random things about, you know, the expectations of uh, you, you see something online or you see something in the store and it really looks great. And then you go in the dress room, try it on. And it so does not look great on you. Have you ever had that happen? Such a bummer, especially for me, as small as I am, and when I find things that I like and I go to try them on and they don't fit, or they look frumpy, or they make me look older than I am, or too much younger than I am, right? All right, so let me see some of these comments here. So, Tiffany, good morning from Virginia. Yes, I saw that, Tiffany. You guys are out on the road again, and yet Melissa's going to be heading home because she was affected by something she wasn't expecting, right, Melissa? So those in North Carolina and South Carolina who are just now, a week later, able to even attempt to go back home. Melissa has been, um, you know, sort of separated, not by choice, but her husband chose to stay back to protect the house, to make sure everything was there, to work, to help other neighbors. Uh, meanwhile, Melissa packed up her dogs and her boys and headed inland to where she had some family to stay with. But over a week. Good morning, Mudge. And then there's Mudge. Mudge is going to make the broadcast. Good morning, buddy. How are you, Mudge? This is Mudge. Mudge wants a snack, don't you? I don't have any snacks here, Mudge. But expectations. You know, Melissa had to pack up her dogs and her kids and try to find somewhere to stay. So many families were displaced during the hurricane, and they're just now able to get back not knowing what to expect when they get home do they have a home to go back to how are the roads going back to where they are are they able to even get there so melissa is doing some great things helping folks so if you see her name in the comments here in this broadcast um contact her she is organizing and getting supplies for other neighbors and families and because melissa worked so hard to prepare in advance um, Melissa is a financial coach, and she, you know, she and her husband had worked very hard to plan ahead to have everything prepared. So many families that work diligently to prepare. You can't prepare for everything. We don't know what to expect when these storms come through, um, but we prepare as best we can because we know that we can alleviate some of the problems that come from not being prepared, right? when those things happen. So check Melissa out, support her. Yes, it's good to see, good morning. There's my sweet daughter, Savannah. Good morning, Becky. Good to see, yes, you're one of the last ones of your friends to head home. You left September 11th. Oh my goodness, well, and Melissa had to put her boys in another school where she was staying, thankfully close to family, but even just for a week or so, so that the boys could have some sense of stability and routine despite these circumstances, right? So, and Jack was also um, essential personnel at work. Okay. So it's so important, but sometimes there are things that happen in life that we don't expect. I'm going to be talking about some of that. How do we handle expectations when situations completely change on us? Sometimes there's things like what Tiger did. He was able to handle the expectations of people, of himself, because there's only two types of, of expectations. And I've been reading this fabulous book by Gretchen Rubin called The Four Tendencies, uh, where she, break down, she breaks down personality styles and types, how we are hardwired when we come into the world, how we respond to things in the world, and how we respond to expectations we put upon ourselves. So here are some things we're going to be talking about. Uh, this just came up in the news yesterday. So it, the evangelical um, writer, Christine Kane, has recently been implicated in um, a plagiarism lawsuit because a Colorado author has been able to come forward with evidence that her books contain segments in them that are direct copies out of another author's work. And um, uh, HarperCollins Christian Publishing Zondervan, they're all being named in this suit. And so I, I've worked for HarperCollins Christian Publishers, and it's difficult when uh, you run across something like this. 
So the expectation when, when you bring work forward, um, is it yours? Is it authentically yours? What happens when someone that you follow, who's been a celebrity or an influencer, kind of like what Tiger Woods was to the sports world, what Christine Kane means to uh, women in, in Christian ministry, what happens uh, when people fall, when people stumble, when they don't meet our expectations? Do we write them off? Do we delete them? Do we erase them? Ooh, we're going to be talking about expectations and relationships and work and jobs and career. Are you doing what you thought you were going to do when you went to college? When you were in high school, think back to high school and college and what you wanted to be when you grew up and got out of school. I wanted to be a newspaper columnist. So not that, so never have been that. There have been other ways that I've been able to utilize my writing skills in other areas of work. Am I fulfilled and happy with what I'm doing now? Is it what I thought I would be doing? What about you? Have you had expectations about your, your careers, your, your education goals, where you thought you would be at this point in your life? Yeah. What about your appearance? Expectations and how we look. Expectations of how we see other people and what we think about the way they look, the way they dress, uh, the way they act, the music they listen to. So many different things that make us personable to others. And yet, how do we respond to those? Hmm. And what about family? You know, we, we got the holiday season coming up. You guys already got holiday plans made? How many of you have holiday plans made? Yes? Well, we know we're going to be spending more time around family because that's when we get together with family. And sometimes that can be great. And sometimes that can be a little tense. Because you're spending a lot of time with people that you only really see all the time. And yet you're bonding. And yet there was a time in your life when you around them a lot and now you're not all those dynamics so you go into these family gatherings with expectations and you come away with maybe new ones or some that you didn't expect to have <laughs> and how do you handle that and then there's the whole world of expectations and relationships right we got single girls wishing they were in relationships. We got married couples who just wish, wish they could have a day to themselves. We got moms that want to just have one moment to have a cup of coffee and not, not be in the bathroom. We have people that don't want to be alone for the holidays. We have other people that um, are, are, don't know where they're going to be for the holidays, right? And maybe there are some people who were wishing they weren't alone and yet find themselves alone at the holidays. So how do you handle all of those expectations? And then after yesterday, whew, I had to back away. I had to back away from the screen and only catch the highlights as my husband was keeping up with what was going on yesterday and, and social media. How do, what are our expected expectations of using social media? Everybody gets on social media and we have to get, you know, push things and have people like them and comment. We have to figure out the algorithm and how are we going to get our posts visible? And what are you using social media for? How are you using it? If you are using it for you, your business, are you um, aligning yourself with people who can teach you how to strategically use the tools to better what it is you're using it for, right? What are your expectations of using social media? And how, how do you want to interact with people online? What kind of content are you going to share? How are you going to interact with them? So we're going to talk about a lot of things over the next few weeks. We're going to be sharing some tidbits. I'm going to be sharing some things with you. And I hope you will be there to join the conversation because we're going to throw out some really interesting things. Talk about maybe some expectations that you had for 2018 that maybe maybe some of them turned out even better than you thought they were going to. Maybe you discovered some new things you didn't think you could do because of the way things happened this year. 
or maybe 2018 didn't turn out exactly the way you thought it would. But then again, that's really not a bad thing because maybe it showed you some things about yourself and about your life and about your relationships that are maybe areas that I know I can work on. A lot of things that I realized this year that I never thought I would see my own expectations. You or work, have you seen, have you seen some highlights, right? Big questions today. Big questions. What are our expectations? Guys, here's the thing. We know it's going to go one of two ways. Are you prepared regardless of which way it goes? Because it's going to affect, it, these are ex, external expectations that are going to affect, are they going to directly affect us? Are, are they going to direct me getting up and going to the bathroom in the morning and then getting up and making my hair look a little bit presentable and, uh, and, and have me look a little bit alive and then fill up an awesome cup of coffee and get my day started? I think the only way it's really going to affect me is how I see others and how I see myself right? Because that's how we interact with people. So what are your challenges today? What are your expectations going in today? And where are we going to end up? Well, here's the thing. I hope you will end up back here next Friday because the official um, broadcast will happen on Friday, on Friday mornings, 7.30 a.m. I may be coming to you from pl secret places. I may be um, showing up at different places. I may have guest interviews with some incredible stories of people who lived through some expectation changes. Um, or maybe we'll just talk about some great things. But I hope that you'll be able to interact and share with me because a lot of us had different expectations of where we would be right now in so many areas. What are the ones that are challenges for you? How do you want to turn them around? And what are your expectations going into 2019? I don't know about you, but this year kicked my ass in a lot of good ways, a lot of interesting ways. But I know that with a good mug and a cup of coffee, things can turn around. And a lot of prayer, a lot of prayer. Folks, we know that he has a plan for us, a plan to prosper us, not to harm us. A plan to give us a hope and a future. Believe those words. And then let's center our expectations around those. Those will be the guiding light that will keep us anchored and safe in the midst of these choppy waters. So we have big things to tackle today. We have big things that we're expecting. Be prepared no matter which way the pendulum swings. Because you know what? We're going to be okay. You and me. And a cup of coffee. Speaking of being okay, there's poor, listen, you got to check this out on the news. Bruce Kepka. God love him. Bruce Kepka. Here's one of the headlines that I saw as I was checking out the Ryder Cup this morning. So Bruce Kepka evidently hit a ball so hard that it hit a woman who was watching the game. Not took her out, man. She was clocked. Uh, poor Bruce Kepka. So let's pray that those players, you know, that balls will not be falling from the sky on people because they're not expecting that, right? And I hope today whatever balls fall in your court, you're able to lob them back, all right? Because it's Happy Aloha Friday. We're going into the weekend with a bang. Guys, I can't wait. We are ending the month of September and starting quarter four of 2018. Three months, guys, and we're gearing into the holiday season. Are you getting excited? I'm getting excited. I don't know about you. I love the holidays. It gives me hope and expectation. Presence of Christmas, of getting together with you here and sharing mornings together. So I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. I can't wait, wait, wait to start. New content is going to be coming out October 1st. So make sure you like this page so you can get all my updates. And please be sure to go to my website at www. 
RoneHarden.com. Sign up for my email list. I've got some things prepared. They're going to start shooting out, shooting into your inbox, keeping you up to date on what's going on. And I'll also post a link to a Facebook group. You can join my Facebook group right here off my Facebook page. But guys, thanks for being here. I love you guys. Have a great weekend. I'll see you back here next Friday for the start of the new series, Expectations versus Reality. It's going to be a blast. I promise. Have a good one. I'll see you next Friday.